right, hello wine drinking people. Time for more of what I've had to drink yesterday and this next visit bringing back fond memories of where I started in the wine industry. Ah, uh, busboy in Filippo's Italian restaurant, scounding bottles of white Zinfandel from the tables to sample with my friends, fellow busboys. And uh, we had 12 white Zinfandels on the list at that time and we knew all of them very well. Deloche was our favorite. And, um, you know, if you're a Napa Valley winery you're walking around with white Zinfandel in the bag today, it's kind of embarrassing. I mean, you know, I mean, call it rosé, call it something else, but even though it is white Zinfandel, nobody really pays attention to white Zinfandel anymore. I mean, sure, you may still have it on a wine list, but um, most people don't have the producer listed on it, so... I think it's time to move on, Bueller, with the white Zinfandel, and uh, because the other wines are very good. The Chardonnay, um, however, has a plastic cork, which I do not believe in plastic corks. I think you should screw cap it, and they have another wine with a screw cap in the lineup. I don't get it. Three different enclosures from one winery, and they've done studies throughout the course of time and with enclosures. Screw caps are the freshest, have the most fruit. Plastic corks have the highest level of oxidization. And uh, not a bad wine, but like I said, I will not purchase a wine because it has a plastic cork. When I have other options, and there are a lot of things now under screw cap, under $20 from California. The Zinfandel from Napa, I mean, this is uh, not my favorite varietal, and I have to say, these guys make a very good Zinfandel. This 2013 Zinfandel for $23.75. It's got a little petite Syrah on it, 5%. The vineyard was planted in 71 when they founded the winery. And it is a field blend. And uh, more like a Cabernet Sauvignon drinker's um, Zinfandel. This wine has got some good structure. It's got even some tannins here. Nice balance. Even better on the second day, a great example of Zinfandel from Napa Valley. The Cabernet, however, is what Napa Valley is all about. And Bueller, I mean... I don't want to say you're, you know, 89 points from Robert Parker is not a big enough score to brag, but, um, you know, at $28.25, you can brag about a score like that because everything that scores in the 90-point range from Napa is very expensive. And this wine's got a good amount of that dark cherry, currant, and plum fruit, notes of sweet tobacco, some lopy, earthy notes, some nice complexity here. And um, in addition to the state fruit, they do buy from a few people. They're good friends with the Garvey family from Flora Springs, one of them. And, um, you know, if you got great fruit, there's no harm in buying in addition to your state fruit. And, um, you know, a lot of people... People supplement their fruit with purchased fruit, and as long as you're not buying uh, juice on the bulk market, I mean, you know, you can still make a really good wine. And this wine is a great value, and uh, really needs a little time to open up. Really, on the second day, this wine even better, very well built, and one of the best values still you will find to this day from Napa Valley. The Bon Marsh. I mean, this wine I did not get. I mean, I love the fact it's in a screw cap, but uh, it's a big department store in Paris. Zinfandel, Syrah, Merlot, Malbec, uh, soft, fruity wine, a little bit on the sweet side. So I guess it's meant to appeal to the next generation, the beginning wine drinkers, and you got to continue to get the the people, the young people involved in wine. So this is something that's going to appeal to them. The white Zinfandel, like I said, I don't know why. Um, a winery like this would still make white Zinfandel. It tastes like Jolly Rancher strawberry candy. And, um, you know, it's not a bad wine. It's just white Zinfandel. Enough said. That's what we had to our friends from Bueller Winery. I'm your host, Andrew Lampasoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying, remember, always drink the good stuff first.